This is the video for the molar volume of hydrogen gas and the gas loss. Um, in this, you're going to need to use some magnesium. You get about four, don't go any longer than four centimeters. You need to measure it out less than four centimeters, uh, and then you're going to mass it on the scale. If you have more than four centimeters, you're going to run into problems later on, so make sure that it's less than four centimeters. Then once you have that, you're going to have your piece of copper, your wire, and you're going to make a cage at the end if one has not already been made for you. Uh, and you're going to have a stopper, and you put it through the stopper so that the cage is sticking out the thin side of the stopper. That way it'll fit into the udiometer. Once you have it into the, the, the stopper, you're going to bend the end so it holds it into its position. Then you're going to take your magnesium strip, and you're going to end up wrapping around the cage. Um, as you can see in the video too, by the way, the the cage needs to be below the 50 milliliter mark. So you can see that it doesn't go into the marked areas on the on the udiometer. So you wrap the magnesium around the cage, and then that will hold it in place during the reaction. Now you need to go to the hood and get your hydrochloric acid, and it's six molar, so you have to dilute it to two molar, uh, and get 20 milliliters of that. Uh, so use the pipette and the pipette pump. Make sure that you measure it out carefully, and uh, you can put it with water in the in the cylinder. Uh, I make a mistake in this clip, and uh, that's going to be one of the questions on the quiz. Is what mistake am I making in this clip? What procedural mistake am I making here? So all together, uh, you're going to have your... Um, Altogether, you're going to have 20 milliliters. So however much of the acid and how much of, of the water when you do your calculation to see how much you have, you're going to have that together. Then you're going to carefully pour it into your udiometer. You're going to just pour it through. Now, I'm doing it in view. You might want to do it over a lab bench or something. I want to make sure it was in view of the video. So that's why I did it where it looks like it's pouring outside the hood. So uh, pour it into the bottom of the udiometer. Once you have done that, then you're going to go get um, your one liter beaker, and you might have filled it up about three quarters of the way with water, and then you carefully, very carefully, gently, slow you, slowly, you add it into the udiometer. You want to try to keep the solution separate, um, and I topped mine off with the wash bottle. It just seemed a lot easier than trying to pour it into the very top. The reason you want to get it to the very top is because once you add the cork, you don't want any air bubbles to get in there, and that's going to cause some error uh, if you have air bubbles in there. Um, you need to know how that air might propagate itself through the experiment. Um, if you have volume taken up with the air before you have gas collected, how will that affect your final measurement? So you put the cork in. I would suggest doing it over the beaker so that in case any water spills out, it will run into the beaker. Then put your finger over the end of the, of the rubber stopper and you're going to flip it upside down into the beaker. Now, um, one of you can hold this udiometer the entire time, or you can get one of the utility clamps and a ring stand, and you can hold it with that um, utility clamp. That might be the easier way to go. It'll only take about 5 to 10 minutes for all the gas to collect, but uh, it's, it would just be a pain having to hold it the whole time, so you can use that. Now, you can see there were no gas bubbles in the top, but you can see that gas is starting to come up from the reaction between the magnesium and the hydrochloric acid. At first, it's just a few bubbles here and there, and then it starts going like crazy. So you're going to get all those bubbles uh, being, that gas is being collected, and you can see that it's going to start creating that gas. Now you're collecting the hydrogen gas over water, so you need to think about what that means. You need to look at the barometer to get the atmospheric pressure. It's on the wall behind my desk. While you're there looking at the barometer, you're going to notice that it's in centimeters of mercury. So you need to convert that to millimeters of mercury. You're also going to need to look at the thermometer to get the temperature, uh, temperature in Celsius. And then you also need to have a thermometer that you put into the beaker to get the temperature of the water because that's important to get the vapor pressure of the water. Finally, when you're finished, you're going to pull up the udiometer with your thumb over or your finger over the cork over the rubber stopper and then put it into the 500 milliliter or one liter graduated cylinder and you're going to move that udiometer up and down until you can get the water level inside and outside the same level so you need to drop down to look at it from the side to get the exact volume of gas collected once you have that of course you're going to record that 
Um, and then you can do your calculations. Uh, if you have any questions, please email me or message me or come in and talk to me early. Other than that, make sure you take the school, uh, Schoology quiz too. Good luck.